All right, so I've got a drawing open right now, and I've already, it's been set up as a name plot style, so it's using CTVs, or sorry, STVs, and I've attached the, the plot style that I've, I've created. So if I take a look now, and I go into my page setup here, and I take a look at the model tab, I can see that my plot style STV is now currently attached. And if I look at this plot style, what I can see is it's got quite a few different options here. Well, not quite a few, it's got a couple options here. I can see I've got this red, which is kind of set up for a medium line weight with a bevel um, line and style. I can see I've got this thin black and I've got a thick black, different style. So kind of these sub styles within this main style. So what I want to do is I want to come through here and I want to, I want to configure this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layer manager and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take these wall layers here and I'm going to change the style and I'm going to add my thick style. So from the active plot style, which is here, notice I can even edit it directly from here. I'm going to attach this black thick style to it. I'm going to come in here now and for everything here from sections to grids to glazing to, to furnitures to the flooring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ones and I'm going to assign this black thin style to it. So we'll click OK and I can see that that, that thin style has been assigned. Now these annotation ones here, so I'm going to take my annotations and I'm going to go into my styles and I'm going to add my red medium to those ones. So now I've assigned the red medium. Now the real power comes in here is that notice that the colors can stay as they are for when I'm working on it, right? Because we like colors. We can differentiate what we're working on. We can see that that's a dimension and that's a wall and, and it's great to work with colors. But now when I go to plot, I'm actually going to get the desired results. Now the ones here that still have style one attached to it, it's just going to go out as it is. So still with the greens and the whites and, and such like that. So let's come in here and let's do let's do a plot preview. So let's do a plot on this. And I can see I don't actually have a printer assigned, so we should probably do that. So I'm going to assign my uh, DUF to this. And let's do the extents, center of the plot. That's still signed. We'll click preview. And what I can see is that notice it's being overridden. So I can see that my walls are coming with that thick because I actually chose the thickest style I could set. I can see my annotations now are coming in red, although using a medium style is probably the wrong choice. Um, and then we can see um, that you know the, those other objects that are yellow and red are still coming out. Okay, so is this is this real time? Is this live? Well, of course it is. So if let's just apply that to the layout. If I go back into my layer manager and I say, okay, I've kind of screwed up here. Let's take these ones and let's take these and actually put these to a thin style. And let's take these ones here, whoops, let's take these ones here that we're currently set to um, style one here. Let's take these ones, let's assign these to red medium. And I'm okay with the rest. And let's go back in there and let's plot that. So we'll right click, click plot. We'll click preview again. And now we can see that's changed. So now my annotations are coming on the thin style and we can see that red medium has been assigned to those other ones. So that's kind of how we can use those name plot styles. It's, it, it's, it's similar to color dependent, um, but without the restrictions of being color dependent. So you can assign these different styles um, to your actual layers.